With gas prices well over $3 a gallon and steadily rising, the price of fuel is affecting more than just your wallet. Particularly hard hit are city services, including public safety, where keeping squad cars on the road is becoming more costly each day. We are concerned about the prices and when they, when they uh, you know, increase dramatically, uh, we have to talk about that, we have to plan for that. One of the hardest hit areas in the private sector is the trucking industry. We uh, last year spent at about $849,000 per month on fuel. And today, at today's prices, we're spending $1.2 million. Again, that's per month on, on diesel fuel. So it's been quite a, uh, quite a burden to everyone, not, not only ourselves, but our customers and, and, well, of course, everyone. The price of gas is not only going to affect your wallet at the pump, it also affects airline ticket prices, your home heating oil, and shipping costs. Just about everything is dependent on the price of gas. The customers feel it. Uh, in the every, all the goods at Trucks Hall, which is pretty much everything. Uh, they've been feeling it all along. With the significant increases, everyone has had to find ways to conserve fuel, and that includes your local police officer and long-haul trucker. We do tell them to be careful and uh, be conservative in their use of their, their vehicles, equipment, including fuel. Uh, one of the things we do is we've outfitted our trucks with uh, different anti-idle devices. Uh, there's several on the market, of course, they all still burn diesel fuel, but uh, at a, a, a smaller amount. Speculation is that fuel prices will only continue to rise, but Jeff Foster is remaining optimistic. I'm hearing, just like everyone else, that the price of fuel is going to continue to increase. It's going to approach $5 per gallon, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly hoping, hoping against that. In Superior, I'm Danielle Pisek, Northlands News Center.